Here I am with a 1965, no, up here. Here I am with a 1965 Mini Cooper S. It's small, really small. By any measure, the classic Mini is, shall we say, compact. Actually, let's say tiny, but that's the whole point. A charming, carefree car that requires a sense of humor. As the British say, cheap and cheerful, truly. But in recent years, Mini, now owned by BMW, has been growing, not just in sales, but in size. The newest not-so-mini addition to the lineup is the 2016 Clubman, six inches longer than previous models. It made me wonder if our little Mini wasn't struggling with an identity crisis. I, I know that the name is Mini, but the concept that made the original Mini wasn't just about being small. Who's your typical Mini customer? The typical Mini customer is a little bit difficult to define. We don't really think so much in terms of a demographic. We think in terms more of a psychographic. So you'll be clearly identified as a luxury car. I, I don't use the word luxury. I use the word premium. Okay, not luxury, not a demographic, not even really miniature. But I think I could still say fun. But there's a personality in driving a Mini that you don't necessarily get driving some other company's compact car. So even as we get cars that are a little bit larger, as long as they maintain that fun to drive aspect, then they can be minis. Well, good. At least you're not gonna lose that part. But really, let's not get too big, okay? 